Hi, and welcome to the second part of the video review of Omega T version 3.1.1. In replace mode, the cancel button was replaced by the finish button. Okay, I'll go into the replace mode. And here we go. So instead of cancel, we have finish. Finish replacement. The next enhancement is using 1000 requests per day instead of 100 for my memory machine translation service. And to do so requires using these option to run a mega team. To do this, I created a BAT file to run a MegaT with my memory option. And here within this file, I edit this option, my email. And now I use this file to run a MegaT. All right. The service is enabled. As soon as I load a project, I'm I get matches from the machine translation service, my memory, and now I'm supposed to get 1,000 matches per day instead of just 100. The next enhancement is the bundle properties filter now displaying comments from the files. And um, I will show you on the actual localization project for Omega T itself. So for example, in this first segment, I get this comment which comes from the actual file that I am translating, bundle properties. So if I open this file, I will find this comment here. Now it displays here conveniently. The next enhancement is the ability to ignore mnemonic characters and escape sequences in the spell checking script. And uh, suppose I have a word, Russian word, project, which is broken into parts by mnemonic characters and an escape sequence. So when I run a spell checking script, I get two errors. This one and this one. Because, again, the word is split into pieces. But if I enable these two new checkboxes and click refresh, the errors are gone because a Magity checks this word as one word by removing the escape sequences and mnemonics. While we were on the subject, I want to show you another two options, new options available in this window. And the first one is the check whole project. For example, in, in this case, I have a, a large project with 160 files, and if I want to check spelling in just one document. Spelling the entire project does not make sense. So what I can do is run the spell check script and disable this checkbox. Now I get only 64 errors. And this, the use glossary option allows allows the spell checker to ignore those words that are already in the glossary. For example, here it gives two errors for these two word forms, the Russian word blog. But I have both of them in the glossary. So if I enable this checkbox, they will go away. So now I have 64 errors. And now after I enable this checkbox and click refresh, I get 60. So and those two errors are gone. Quite convenient. And now to the bug fixes. I will not cover all of them because most of them resulted from short-term bugs. And what I want to cover is this one. So the properties menu is disabled in team project. And now it is enabled back again. But you can only access to settings, segmentation and file filters, the project specific settings. All other project properties are disabled in order to prevent 
people from breaking the project while it is already in progress. And the second bug fix that I wanted to cover is this one. And it is quite important for people who work on bilingual documents. As an example, I'm going to use a TTX file. TTX file, which is bilingual, bilingual, and it is pre-translated. And we have source equals target situation. And I opened this file in a previous version. So when I run statistics, I get a very confusing result, which says that no matches is just 159. Whereas simply by looking through the file, I can see that there are many more ma no matches. So what a mega T did previously is that it put all or maybe most of this pre-translated segments which had source equals target into the 95 to 100 percent category which was obviously incorrect and I will now open this project in the latest version all right as you see now I have 1847 no match words which is obviously a more accurate statistics it is important to remember that you get correct statistics only as long as the allow translation to be equal to source checkbox is disabled, like in my case. If I enable it and reload the project, Omega T simply inserts the target from the TDX file into, into the editor and of course this results in all segments displaying as exact matches. That's it. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in some way, please feel free to share the link to the blog post it is attached to.